OMG BBG! What's up BBGs? Welcome back to another Beyblade Burst unboxing video. Today we have Beyblade Burst Quad Drive and this is one of the newest ones that you can get. This starter pack here is Vanish Fafnir F7. So yes, Vanish Fafnir in Quad Drive Hasbro form. Is there rubber? That's the biggest question. All the chat there in uh, the online space is saying that there's no rubber. But it's so deceiving though. It looks just like it. Why would you take the rubber away? Why? Why? But uh, we'll get into that in a little bit. So let's take a look at the back of the box. This is of course a Lesbian stamina type, right? And it comes with that quad drive or like the DB core like system. Um, this right here, don't be fooled. Once again, that looks like rubber, but it ain't. Looks like it gets the three armor, plastic of course. You get that QD03 disc, so it's nice that we kept that tapered disc. So this will be that Hasbro version. Hopefully there's not too much metal shaved off of that. TB13-Q is the driver. Now remember, this is a two-piece driver because we also get that armor tip as well, which is S02. And yeah, four in one. So Apex mode, core mode, Apex plus, yada, yada, yada. The armor tip will of course represent the original driver from Takara Tomy. Uh, but then once you take that armor tip off, then you get different performance from the actual, um, the under part there. So the actual driver itself, the TB13-Q. Yo, is it bad of me to anticipate how good that tip is gonna be for my H gear in my modification? Yo, legit. Instead of actually being hyped for the actual Fafnir itself? For real, just want more variety for our little H gear mod. If you guys haven't seen that, check that out. Yo, Very wait. simple modification. Maybe this Fafnir is actually gonna be amazing. Yeah, it's gonna be godlike and actually spin steel better than having rubber anyways. Just you wait. Let's take a look at the stats. Of course, the attack is like, eh, it's okay, six. I'm surprised it's even rated that high. It should be like a two or something like that. Um, but maybe the attack is higher because it actually has less rubber. Um, your weight is at seven. Stamina, of course, at up to 12, right? So being a stamina type, that makes sense. And that's pretty much it. Let's unbox it. Let's see what this Fafnir is about. But right before we open up the box for Vanish Fafnir, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications. You can find us on Instagram at Geek Dosage and on TikTok at Beyblade Geeks Official. For this video, let's make the like goal 5,000. Let's keep it relatively easy, okay? New Fafnir, hit that like button. I feel like there's a lot of like misconceptions about this bay. <laughs> is it misconceptions or is it just a lot of disappointment? <laughs> we'll find out on the next time. Yo, of BBG sometimes episode. you just gotta like when life gives you lemons, you gotta make lemonade. Or when life gives you lemons and you're really sad about it, you just pour the lemon juice into your eyes and cry. <laughs> uh, that's awfully graphic. Sorry, boys and girls. <laughs> All right, there it is. Dun dun dun. That is. Yo, that looks like rubber, though. Yeah, it's tricking you. Like, can you like double or triple check? Double. I'm literally trying to crush this layer in my hand right now, and it doesn't bend at all. Yo, like bite it. <laughs> like an like, Olympic it. medal. Oh my god, guys, it's so plastic. Yo, if free saw this. He'd croak. <laughs> no man, Free's gonna make the most out of it. Cause he got like quad drive now, he got apex mode and high mode. All right, let's dive in, take a look at all the parts here in detail. Let's start off with the energy layer base. So the most important part of the bay essentially, right? It's supposed to have all the gimmicks. This here has no rubber at all. That's it looks gimmick. like it is. Uh, yeah, that's the gimmick, that's you're right. Feature. Special ability, rubber, vanish. And that's what you have. They call this anti-rubber. So brutal, guys. So it does still have all the cutouts and everything like that. Um, one thing we notice as well is that the details for the eyes of the dragon heads are also missing. Um, Takara told me you get these little red painted pieces where the eyes would be, and you don't get that here. It's even harder to see the details on the dragon heads there. Yeah, with the Takara Tomy version, you could like squish the whole energy layer. It would pretty much like be mangled and like you can do deform it pretty much. Yep. Same thing over here for the drive chip, since that's what uh, Hasbro calls it. This is the DB core and uh, yeah, missing a few details. The colors are relatively the same, except uh, you can't see the details of the actual Fafnir avatar as much in this drive chip. They just made everything like the yellow gold color here. Yeah, less contrast compared to the original. Of course, no stickers, um, but this really is just meant to keep the whole bay together. Next up, three armor. So exactly same shape as the original, but made of pure plastic. You're not going to have 
crazy weight additions by using this piece. Honestly, you could probably throw on any armor piece and it'll be like the exact same. One thing that does look similar and seems to be the exact same for now is the tapered disc. So this here actually says TP on there. Uh, the mold looks relatively the same from this top view. Um, I do suspect that it's gonna weigh a little bit less compared to the original. So it has an overall very round shape. You know, it does have those blocks around the perimeter there that kind of reminds us of like the shape of like a turtle or something like that. Definitely getting some Drasil vibes from this disc. Quite fitting for a stamina or defense type since it's all round, but it does hang a little bit low as well. The last two pieces is the quad drive performance tip. So we have, of course, the regular performance tip, right? Like this is supposed to be extend or something, uh, extend plus without the armor tip on. Honestly, it's hard to tell, but yeah, it's supposed to be extend. It's a flat tip, but it does sink in a little bit. So it does have a little bit of a lip around the flat area. The armor tip is supposed to represent the kick driver that is from the original. It's not spring loaded or anything like that. So it's not going to really help you regain balance by using the spring. The main point of contact, the main platform, is a little bit sharper than the original kick and there's more distance between the round plate and the actual sharp tip. Interested to see how this is going to perform. Get it in the grooves, lock it up. So you're doing low mode and then just push in the gravity ring. Disc. Yeah, so that's uh, core plus mode. Yeah, with the armor tip on. I wish they at least made the driver orange, like come on man, like just such a small thing like why not just make it just something. do it as similar as possible please but uh, that's it vanish fafnir f7 right there what once is... you have straight away too far like you just keep on going further and further <laughs> yeah the actual drive chip itself is like i don't know the details you can barely see them like where's fafnir in this you know like you really have to stare at it right compared to that so i wish they you know, did that part a little bit better, but... Here's hoping is. for the Pro Series version. Oh man, the Pro Series version, and they put that much rubber on it, they'll be like, hey, that's $60, guys. And we'll buy every single one. <laughs> All right, okay, let's weigh it. There's the Hasbro version. It's for sure gonna weigh less. 26.17 grams, okay. so that's Hasbro. Takara Tomy? 29 grams, There exactly. we go, just like we predicted, yep. So a little bit of metal shaved off somewhere on this Hasbro version, but um, I mean, at least they kept the shape. At least they kept that. Yeah. All right, guys, let's do some test battles. Oh, and before that, get your QR code, because we know you want it. Test spin, three, two, one, live. It's pretty solid. <laughs> as solid as quad drive base can be. It's chilling. I mean, that's exactly how the regular tip should be, right? Okay, let's see some battles now. Three, Three, two, two one. one. Oh my god. Oh, wobbly? No rubber, so sad. <laughs> spin steel, come on. Drain all that spin. Yo. Hey, I still got it. See, I told you you don't need rubber. <laughs> Jokes. Armor tip is coming off. Three, Three, two, one. one. Ooh, aggressive. Yeah. Hit that bell fire. Wreck him. Okay. Come back there. You can do this. Yo. Yo. So it's like hyping uh, Fafnir up when in reality Bellfire just sucks. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Okay, let's see if it's better for you with the plus mode for Fafnir. Banish Fafnir. Able to oh, spin no. steel a oh, little no. bit. Can I pull it off? Nope. Yo. Nope, nope. Rock the board wins. Keep in mind, I'm using this launcher. That's our unboxing on Vanish Fafnir F7 from Quad Drive. Let us know what you think the overall consensus on this bay. No rubber, so it kind of sucks. But I mean, you can't buy Quad Drive Bays expecting it 
to have all of the features from Pro Series into Keratome anyways. So, in that sense, if you think about it that way, it's, it's not too bad. It's unique yeah, it's in its own sense. It's not too bad. It's just great overall to see Fafnir on the shelves. That's the biggest thing, right? So, I'd say if you're a big collector like us, just pick it up anyways. Um, being that it's a less spin makes it kind of special compared to all the other starters that are currently out for quad drive. Obviously, that'll change a little bit when other bays come out. But uh, this one right here for now is your special less spin quad drive bay. Alright, that's it. Like this video, subscribe, and as always, Geeks, geeks out!